Nepal's parliament has a series of new laws ready to be endorsed, but there is a problem. Under its rules, there has to be a speaker present for them to be sent to the president, and the post has been vacant for months. In early October, Speaker of the House Krishna Badu Mara was accused of rape and arrested, and political leaders have not been able to agree on a replacement. New bosses of the ruling Communist Party have asked the Deputy Speaker, Shivamayatu Mahamfe, to resign so a new Speaker and Deputy can be chosen. But she says she should be appointed as the new Speaker. Why should I pay the price for the wrongdoings of the erstwhile speaker? If they find a fault in my conduct, they should impeach me. This is about institutionalizing a system. The leaders cannot breach the constitution. Dumahave says she's a victim of political horse trading and sexism. Dumahave is a member of Nepal Communist Party that was formed from a merger with Maoist former guerrillas. In May 2018, two of Nepal's communist parties united to form a majority government. But the party they created still has two chairpersons, and it's clearly divided. Both factions want one of their own people to be the speaker. Constitutionally, however, the speaker and the deputy cannot be of the same gender nor from the same political party. Both factions are proposing the more influential role of parliamentary speaker should go to a man and the post of deputy to a woman member of the opposition Nepali Congress, which leaves the Mahamfe out in the cold. We're often told we're ready to give any position to women, but they lack capacity. When it comes to Dr. Tumbahampe, she has all the qualities. She's better qualified than all the male candidates who are preferred by the leaders. This issue has made us realize how important a women's caucus is for us. Party leaders say they must be the ones to appoint the new speaker, not activists. But with the deputy speaker refusing to step down and both factions within the ruling party standing firm, this dispute is in deadlock. And that means so is Nepal's parliament. Subina Shrestha, Al Jazeera, Kathmandu.